A fan favorite exhibit returns to Meyer Gardens this week. And of course, we've been offering you a sneak peek of the exhibit all day today. But while the blooming butterflies provide a dazzling and colorful escape from the winter blues, they also provide unique educational opportunities for kids and adults. Meteorologist Blake Harms is enjoying the tropical temperatures inside the greenhouse. Blake? <laughs> That's right, Emily. It is very warm in here. It's pleasant. And we are here to talk about some of the classes and events that Frederick Meyer Gardens has going on. I'm joined by Maddie Eck, Horticultural and Environmental Classes and Event Coordinator here at Frederick Meyer Gardens. So first, let's start with the Sekia Garden Lecture. That seems to be one of the big uh, events that you have going on this, this year. Yeah, so the Sekia Garden Lecture is made possible by the Sekia family. Um, the speaker this year is Melinda Myers. Uh, the topic is attracting bees, hummingbirds, and butterflies to the garden. So she'll be talking about kind of how we can have that symbiotic relationship um, with, our, with those creatures in our garden, no matter what size the garden is. So we provide them with food, water, shelter. They provide us with the aesthetic beauty and pollination. Um, so it's going to be a really great lecture, and we're really excited about it. And yeah, I definitely re recommend checking it out. Um, registration is required for that event, and I just want to make note of that. Um, tomorrow is when registration opens for that event. And people can register by going online to MeyerGardens.org forward slash calendar and clicking on the date of the event, which is Tuesday, April 25th at 7 p.m. Um, it is free for members and included with general admission for non-members. So, yeah, be sure and check it out. Yeah, so that's not the only thing going on. You guys also have some butterfly-related exhibition programs that kind of tie into the, the butterfly exhibit we have here. Tell me more about that. Yeah, so we have three happening. Um, they're happening on various Sundays throughout the exhibition. Um, Sunday, March 12th. Um, Sunday, March 26th, and Sunday, April 16th, all at 2 p.m. They're more of a drop-in style um, type of event rather than registration being required, like the Sekia Garden Lecture. So um, people are able to attend this lecture or these lectures. Even if they're here for the day, they can make a day trip out of it. Um, it is included with general admission, so it's free for members and included with general admission for non-members. Um, and again, drop-in, so check them out. They um, go over various topics. The first one is for um, people of all ages. It's going to be more of like a hands-on style. And the following two are lecture style classes. So, yeah. Cool. So at the noon, we talked a little bit about the child programs that relate to the gardens here. But you also have some adult classes that are proven to be pretty popular. Yeah, they really are. They're selling out very quickly. So um, we have uh, our seasonal mailer that goes out to all members. Um, but also in addition to that, you can go online to MeyerGardens.org and under the Learn tab, you can see all of those events. Um, they are just wonderful. We have, like you said, youth, um, teenage classes, and we also have adult programs too. So check those out too. You told me that before we came on that a lot of the adult classes have already sold out. So if folks are interested in some of those, they'll probably want to sign up sooner rather than later. That's correct. Yeah, definitely. Good deal. So we have a lot going on here. Yeah, obviously, the butterflies are a fun part of this, but there's a lot of neat educational opportunities here at the Frederick Meyer Gardens as well. Coming up at 6, we're talking a little bit more about what goes into building something of this nature and maintaining it as well as uh, just how many species of butterflies are here for this exhibit. We'll have more on that coming up tonight at 6 and 7. For now, we're live at Frederick Meyer Gardens. Blake Harms, News 8. Yeah, how did two meteorologists get that gig? Yeah, great assignment today. That's what today. we want to know. <laughs> Thanks, Blake.